so excited when I think about the future of para ice hockey and sledge hockey because it is not only growing so fast, but the, the skill set of the game is uh, increasing consistently. We have more countries becoming more competitive. The shots are getting harder. The saves are becoming flashier. Um, it's going to continue to rock people's world when they see it and you see Team Canada versus USA out on the ice and they're crushing each other and they're sniping corners. Like it has so far to go that I feel like we're just at the beginning and it's going to be exciting to see the sport continue to thrive. Most people know me today as a Paralympian in sledge hockey. Uh, however, the question becomes, why are you, are you playing Paralympic sport if you're walking? And basically, when I was 23 years old, I was riding freestyle motocross and uh, crashed on my second show ever, uh, broke my back and became an incomplete paraplegic and had to learn how to walk again. The kicker to my story is my dad was also paralyzed four years before I was in a hunting accident. Uh, he fell, broke his back, and became a complete paraplegic fears from retirement. So my mom had both husband and son in wheelchairs at the exact same time. My dad unfortunately struggled with his injuries. He didn't feel that what he was going through was fair. Um, my dad took on a victim mindset to his situation, uh, which uh, ended up driving him um, away from my, my family, my friends. It was very difficult and uh, eventually ended up taking his own life. If I wanted to move forward living with a disability, that I needed to just own it and accept responsibility and find a way to move forward. He and I would have so many evenings watching them play down in the basement. And uh, true story is my dad literally, we have the Toronto Maple Leafs logo on my dad's tombstone because he was that hardcore of a fan that uh, he'd just be so proud to see me having turned a life living with a disability into something amazing, representing Canada and playing around the world and hanging out with some of his greats that he always looked up to. The main difference between able-bodied hockey and sledge hockey or para ice hockey, as most people will now know it today, uh, the obvious is like we play sitting down, pulling ourselves around the ice using our arms. Uh, we do still have two blades, not one as many people think. There's uh, two underneath your butt. But other than that, it's hockey's hockey. Like we still have the same rules on the ice, icing's offsides, full contact, fast pace, hard hitting. And uh, that's what makes it so great is once you get on there, you just strap yourself in a sled and you're just like everyone else. When you think about the people in the sport of sledge hockey, whether you're a player or a family member, we have a massive sense of community. I don't see many egos at the rink. Like everyone's there to help each other. A lot of the players are going through similar challenges depending, regardless of whatever disability that they have. So that's what's so unique about it is we get to the rink, um, we're there to help, we're there to have fun. Um, put the egos aside and, and once you get on the ice, we're just out there to play. My dreams that I had through freestyle motocross, I just say I get to live through sledge hockey. Um, traveling the world, you know, representing a country and uh, being an elite athlete was something super special. In addition to playing at the Paralympic Games, wearing the Canadian jersey, which I'm incredibly proud of. The sledge hockey experience is a, a dream for life after sport. It's no secret that elite athletes may struggle trying to transition out of sport and find a new path, career, or purpose. And basically I was at a community event once where I seen a bunch of adults <laughs> getting off the ice, slamming their sticks on the ice because they didn't want to get off there having so much fun. And finally just one day it just clicked in my head. I was like, team building. So having an entrepreneurial spirit that existed within me when I broke my back riding my dirt bike, I just saw this was another chance to re live this dream in a different way as well. And so I provide a turnkey operation at the Ford Performance Center in Etobicoke for 20 people to get butt down on the ice for a new perspective on the sport, life, and people with disabilities. After participating in the sledge hockey experience, I hope people leave thinking differently about our sport, about life, and about people with disabilities. It doesn't matter what you're going through, we all have our own unique challenges, but how we choose to think every single day determines how we show up, how we become resilient, how we uh, operate with a new lens, a new perspective to understand the differences amongst each of us. And in my eyes, that's how we show up and become a hero in our own movie.